Good morning. I'm Derek Allen with Wake Up Well for Thursday the 4th of June. One of the virtues of Psalms that we're going through in this series is the huge range of, of topics and moods and situations that are covered. Yesterday, Psalm 34, full of praise, David had been rescued by God. Today, <laughs> we've gone backwards. Psalm 35, and David is overwhelmed by troubles. He's looking to God for rescue, but there's no sign of anything coming through for him yet. He's hanging on, he's hoping, but so far, nothing. And to be honest, Psalm 35 is much more than a bad day at the office or a bad hair day. David's enemies are, are circling him, perhaps even literally. And his only hope is God. He's been slandered and mocked. And when his enemies were in trouble and he was sympathetic towards them, when he was in trouble, quite the opposite. But they are glad now that I am in trouble. They gleefully join together against me. I'm attacked by people I don't even know. They slander me constantly. David's had a raw deal. His reputation is at stake and with it his peace of mind and he is appealing to God. Don't let my treacherous enemies rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. Here's a guy in trouble and it's not going well. Is he suffering maybe from a touch of paranoia? You know the famous quote perhaps, just because I'm paranoid it doesn't mean they're not out to get me. Either way, David was under a lot of threat and you can read all about it in the books of Samuel and Kings and Chronicles. There were plots, there were rebellions, there were conspiracies, real ones, life-threatening ones. And maybe you felt under attack at times. You may have felt betrayed or let down by people around you. Maybe you felt that your reputation has been damaged and with it your peace of mind has gone as well. And as a believer, those times will come. The enemy is the father of lies and he will use any means to undermine your peace of mind and your sense of where you are in God. He wants you off the front line of faith. You may not know that the early Christians, I'm going back to the early centuries here, the early Christians were actually accused of cannibalism because of the communion they partook of the blood of Jesus and the body of Jesus. You can see how a lie could be twisted out of that one. So what did David do? And for that matter, what can you do in those kind of circumstances where everything seems to be conspiring against you? Well, all through the psalm, although he's still in deep trouble, David is looking to God for rescue. Let me read you two or three verses. Let me hear you say, I will give you victory. Rescue me from their fierce attacks. Protect my life from these lions. Really serious stuff. Wake up, rise to my defence. Take up my case, my God and my Lord. So what's actually happening here? Well, David keeps on trusting God even though he makes no secret of the fact he wishes God were moving a bit more quickly to his defence. And he's praying. The whole psalm is a prayer. And all because he really believes deep down, despite the circumstances, that God is just. The last verse of the psalm reads like this. Then I will proclaim your justice and I will praise you all day long. Maybe you're not looking forward to today or something in the coming days. You feel that you're under unfair pressure. Maybe feeling that people are out to do you down. Well, Psalm 35 is one for you. Whatever your circumstances, remember this. The Lord is the righteous judge. He is a just judge. Bring everything to him in prayer.